The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation Translated and read by Sam Gerrans And argue not with the doctors of the law, save with what is better, save with those who do wrong among them, and say, We believe in what was sent down to us and sent down to you, and our God and your God is one, and to him we are submitted. And thus sent we down the law to thee, and those whom we gave the law believe in it, and among those are some who believe in it, and there reject our proofs only those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. When thou readst not any decree before it, nor wrotest thou one with thy right hand, then might those have doubted who follow vanity. The truth is, it is clear proofs in the breasts of those given knowledge. And there deny our proofs only the wrongdoers. And they say, O oh, that proofs were but sent down upon him from his Lord. Say thou, the proofs are but with God, and I am but a clear warner. Does it not suffice them that we have sent down upon thee the law read to them? In that is a mercy and a reminder for people who believe. Say thou, God is sufficient between me and you as witness. He knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And those who believe in vanity and deny God, these are the losers. And they ask thee to hasten the punishment, when were it not a named term, the punishment would have come to them, and it will come upon them unexpectedly, when they perceive not. They ask thee to hasten the punishment, but hell will encompass those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, the day the punishment covers them from above them and from beneath their feet. And he will say, Taste what you did. O oh, my servants who heed warning, my earth is spacious, so me, serve me. Every soul will taste death, then to us will you be returned. And those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, we will settle them in the high places of the garden beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein. Excellent is the reward of those who act, those who are patient and in their Lord place their trust. And how many a creature there is that bears not its provision. God provides for it and for you, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And if thou ask them, who created the heavens and the earth and made serviceable the sun and the moon, they will say, God. So how are they deluded? God expands provision for whom he wills of his servants, and he straightens for him. God knows all things. And if thou ask them, who causes water to come down from the sky and therewith gives life to the earth after its death, they will say, God. Say thou, praise belongs to God. The truth is, most of them do not reason. And the life of this world is only play and games, and the abode of the hereafter, that is life, did they but know. Then when they embark on a ship, they call to God, sincere to him in doctrine, and when he delivers them to the land, then they ascribe a partnership, that they might deny what we gave them, and that they might take their enjoyment, but they will come to know. Have they not considered that we made a sanctuary secure while men were swept away round about them? Do they then believe in vanity and deny the grace of God? And who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about God or repudiates the truth when it comes to him? Is then there not in hell a home for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue? 
and those who strive for us. We guide them to our paths. And God is with the doers of good. Chapter 30 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Elif Lam Mim The Romans have been victorious in the lowest earth, but they after their defeat, will be victorious in a few years. To God belongs the command before and after, and that day the believers will exult at the help of God. He helps whom he wills, and he is the mighty, the merciful. The promise of God, God fails not in his promise, but most men know not they know the visible show of the life of this world and are heedless of the hereafter. Have they not reflected upon themselves? God created the heavens and the earth and what is between them only aright and for a named term. And many among men are deniers of the meeting with their Lord. Have they not travelled in the land and seen how was the final outcome of those who were before them? They were stronger than them in power, and they tilled the earth and inhabited it more than they have inhabited it, and their messengers came to them with clear evidence. And God wronged them not, but they wronged their souls. Then evil was the final outcome of those who dealt in evil, that they repudiated the proofs of God and mocked them. God begins creation, then repeats it. Then to him will you be returned. And the day the hour comes, the evildoers will despair, and there will be none to intercede for them among their partners and they will deny their partners. And the day the hour comes, that day will they be divided. As for those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, they will be made glad in a lush meadow. And as for those who are indifferent to warning and repudiate our proofs and the meeting of the hereafter, they will be summoned to the punishment. So glory be unto God when you reach the evening and when you reach the morning. And to him belongs the praise in the heavens and the earth and at night and when you reach midday. He brings forth the living from the dead and brings forth the dead from the living and gives life to the earth after its death. And thus will you be brought forth. And among his proofs is that he created you from dust. Then when you are mortals dispersing, ellipsis, you deny this fact. To continue, and among his proofs is that he created for you mates from yourselves that you might be reassured thereby, and made between you love and mercy. In that are proofs for people who reflect. And among his proofs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the difference in your tongues and your hues. In that are proofs for men of knowledge. And among his proofs is your sleep by night and day and your seeking of his bounty. In that are proofs for people who hear. And among his proofs is that he shows you the lightning as fear and hope and sends down water from the sky and gives thereby life to the earth after its death. In that are proofs for people who reason. And among his proofs is that the sky and the earth stand by his command. Then when he calls you with a call from the earth, then will you come forth and to him belongs whoso is in the heavens and the earth. All are devoutly dutiful to him. And he it is who begins creation, then repeats it. And it is most easy for him. And his is the most high example in the heavens and the earth. And he is the mighty, the wise. 
He presents to you an example from among yourselves. Have you from among those whom your right hands possess any partners in what we provide for you, so that you be equal therein, you fearing them as you fear each other? Thus do we set out and detail the proofs for people who reason. The truth is, those who do wrong follow their vain desires without knowledge. And who will guide him whom God has sent astray? And they have no helpers. Set thou thy countenance towards the doctrine, inclining to truth, the nature of God with which he endowed mankind. There is no changing the creation of God. That is the right doctrine, but most men know not. Turning to him in repentance, and be in prudent fear of him, and uphold the duty, and be not of the idolaters, of those who divide their doctrine and become sects, each party exulting at what it has. And when affliction touches men, they call to their Lord, turning to him in repentance. Then, when they taste some mercy from him, some of them ascribe a partnership to their Lord, that they might deny what we have given them. So enjoy yourselves, for you will come to know. If we have sent down upon them a warrant, then it speaks of that to which they ascribe a partnership. Ellipsis. So bring your evidence. To continue. And when we make men taste mercy, they exult thereat. And if evil befalls them because of what their hands have sent before them, then they despair. Have they not considered that God expands and straightens provision for whom he wills? In that are proofs for people who believe. So give thou the relative his due, and the needy, and the wayfarer. That is best for those who desire the countenance of God, and these are the successful. And what you give of usury that it might increase in the wealth of men, there is no increase with God. But what you give of purity, desiring the countenance of God, these receive recompense manifold. God is he who created you, then he provided for you, then will he give you death, then will he give you life. Is there among your partners one who does anything of that? Glory be unto him, and exalted is he above that to which they ascribe a partnership. Corruption appears on land and sea because of what the hands of men have earned, that he might let them taste some of what they have done, that they might return. Say thou, travel in the land and see how was the final outcome of those who were before. Most of them were idolaters. And set thou thy countenance towards the right Doctrine, before there comes a day there is no repelling from God. On that day will they be separated. Whoso denies, upon him be his denial. And whoso works righteousness, ellipsis, upon him be his righteousness. To continue. And they are making a bed for themselves, that he might reward of his bounty those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness. He loves not those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And among his proofs is that he sends the winds as deliverers of glad tidings, so that he might make you taste of his mercy, and that the ships might run by his command, and that you might seek of his bounty, and that you might be grateful. And we sent before thee messengers to their people, so they brought them clear evidence. Then we took retribution from those who were evildoers, and to help the believers is binding upon us. God is he who sends the winds so that they stir up a cloud, 
and he spreads it in the sky as he wills, and makes it pieces, and thou seest the rain come forth from the midst of it. Then when he makes it fall on whom he wills of his servants, they rejoice. And if they were, before it was sent down upon them, those in despair, then look thou to the wake of the mercy of God, how he gives life to the earth after its death. That is the quickener of the dead, and he is powerful over all things. And if we send a wind, and they see it turn yellow, they would continue after that to deny. And thou canst not make the dead to hear, nor canst thou make the deaf hear the call when they turn and go. And thou canst not guide the blind out of their error. Thou canst only make hear him who believes in our proofs and is submitted. God is he who creates you weak, then makes he after weakness strength, then after strength makes he weakness and white hair. He creates what he wills, and he is the knowing, the mighty. And the day the hour comes, the evildoers will swear that they tarried but an hour. Thus were they deluded. But those to whom knowledge and faith were given will say, You have tarried concerning the law of God till the day of resurrection. So this is the day of resurrection. But you knew not. That day their justifications will not profit those who do wrong, nor will they be allowed to make amends. And we have presented to men in this Qur'an every sort of example. And if thou come to them with a proof, those who are indifferent to warning will say, You follow only vanity. Thus does God seal the hearts of those who know not. And be thou patient, the promise of God is true. And let not those who are not certain sway thee. Chapter 31 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Alif, Lam, Meme. Those are the proofs of the wise law, as guidance and mercy for the doers of good, those who uphold the duty and give the purity, and of the hereafter are certain. These are upon guidance from their Lord, and these are the successful. And among men is he who purchases the diversion of narration, that he might be led away from the path of God without knowledge, and make mockery of it. These have a humiliating punishment. And when our proofs are recited to him, he turns away in arrogance as if he heard them not, as if there were deafness in his ears. So give thou him tidings of a painful punishment. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, they have gardens of bliss, they abiding eternally therein. The promise of God is true. He is the mighty, the wise. He created the heavens without pillars you can see, and he cast into the earth firm mountains, lest it sway with you. And he spread therein every sort of creature. And we sent down water from the sky, and caused to grow therein every sort of noble kind. This is the creation of God. Then show me what those besides him have created. The truth is, the wrongdoers are in obvious error. And we gave Lukman wisdom. Be thou grateful to God, and whoso is grateful, he is but grateful for his soul, and whoso denies, God is free from need, praiseworthy. And when Lukman spoke to his son and exhorted him, O my dear son, ascribe thou not a partnership to God, ascribing partnership is a tremendous injustice. And we enjoined upon man concerning his parents, 
His mother bore him in weakness upon weakness, and his weaning is two years. Be thou grateful to me and to thy parents. Unto me is the journey's end. But if they strive with thee to make thee ascribe a partnership to that of which thou hast no knowledge, obey thou them not. And accompany thou them in this world according to what is fitting, but follow thou the path of him who has turned to me. Then to me is your return, and I will tell you what you did. O my dear son, Though it be the weight of a grain of mustard seed, and it be in a rock, or in the heavens, or in the earth, God will bring it forth. God is subtle, aware. O my dear son, uphold thou the duty, and enjoin thou what is fitting, and forbid thou perversity, and be thou patient over what befalls thee. That is among the determination of matters. And turn thou not thy cheek in scorn to men, and walk thou not in the earth conceitedly. God loves not every egoist and boaster. And be thou modest in thy walk, and lower thou thy voice. The most loathsome of voices is the voice of the donkey. Have you not considered how God has made serviceable to you what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and lavished upon you his favours outward and inward? But among men is he who disputes concerning God without knowledge or guidance or an illuminating decree. And when it is said to them, Follow what God has sent down, they say, Nay, we follow that upon which we found our fathers. Even though the shaitan invites them to the punishment of the inferno, and whoso submits his countenance to God and is a doer of good has grasped a firm handhold, and to God is the final outcome of affairs. And whoso denies, let not his denial grieve thee. Unto us is their return, and we will inform them of what they did. God knows what is in the breasts. We will let them enjoy a little, then drive them to a stern punishment. And if thou ask them, who created the heavens and the earth, they will say, God. Say thou, praise belongs to God. The truth is, most of them know not. To God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. God, he is the free from need, the praiseworthy. And had all that is in the earth of trees but been pens, and the sea with seven more seas to aid it, the words of God would not run dry. God is mighty, wise. Your creation and your raising up are only like one soul. God is hearing, seeing. Hast thou not considered that God makes the night enter into the day, and makes the day enter into the night? And he made serviceable the sun and the moon, each running to a named term. And that God is of what you do aware? Because God, he is the truth. And because that to which they call besides him is vanity. And because God, he is the exalted, the great. Hast thou not considered how the ships run in the sea by the grace of God, that he might show you some of his proofs? In that are proofs for every one patient, grateful. And when a wave covers them like canopies, they call to God, sincere to him in doctrine. Then when he delivers them upon the land, then some among them are lukewarm. And there rejects our proofs only every deceitful ingrate. O mankind, be in prudent fear of your Lord, and fear the day the father will not avail his child, nor will the child avail his father anything. 
The promise of God is true. So let not the life of this world deceive you, and let not the deceiver deceive you about God. God, with him is knowledge of the hour, and he sends down the rain and knows what is in the wombs. And a soul knows not what it will earn on the morrow, and a soul knows not in what land it will die. God is knowing, aware. Chapter 32 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Alif Lam Mim The successive revelation of the covenant about which there is no doubt is from the Lord of all mankind. If, they say, he has invented it, the truth is, it is the truth from thy Lord that thou warn a people to whom no warner came before thee, that they might be rightly guided. God is he who created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six days, then took his place upon the throne. You have not besides him any ally or intercessor. Will you then not take heed? He directs the matter from the sky to the earth. Then it rises to him in a day the measure whereof is a thousand years of what you count. That is the knower of the unseen and the seen, the mighty, the merciful, who made good all things he created and initiated the creation of man from clay then made his seed from a strain of despised liquid, then fashioned him and breathed into him of his spirit, and made for you hearing and sight and intellect. Little are you grateful. And they say, When we are lost in the earth, will we be in a new creation? The truth is, they are deniers of the meeting with their Lord. Say thou, there will take you the angel of death who is given charge of you. Then to your Lord will you be returned. And if thou couldst see when the evildoers will hang their heads before their Lord, our Lord we have seen and heard, so send thou us back. We will work righteousness. We are those who are certain and had we willed, we would have given every soul its guidance. But the word from me is binding. I will fill hell with gin and mankind all together. So taste. Because you forgot the meeting of this your day, we forgot you. And taste the punishment of eternity because of what you did. Those but believe in our proofs, who, when they are reminded thereof, fall down in submission, and they give glory with the praise of their Lord, and they are not proud. Their sides forsake their beds to call to their Lord in fear and hope, and of what we have provided them they spend. And no soul knows what is hidden for them as a delight of the eyes in reward for what they did. Is then he who is a believer like him who is wantonly perfidious? They are not alike. As for those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, for them are the gardens of habitation, a welcoming gift for what they did. And as for those who are wantonly perfidious, their habitation is the fire, Whenever they desire to come out therefrom, they are brought back into it. And it is said to them, Taste the punishment of the fire which you repudiated. And we will make them taste of the lower punishment before the greater, that they might return. And who is more unjust than he who is reminded of the proofs of his Lord then turns away therefrom? We will exact retribution upon the evildoers. And we gave Musa the law, so be thou not in doubt of his meeting. And we made it guidance for the children of Israel. And we made among them leaders guiding by our command, when they were patient and of our proofs were certain. 
thy Lord, he will decide between them on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein they differ. Does it not guide them how many generations we destroyed before them among whose dwellings they walk? In that are proofs. Will they then not hear? Have they not considered how we drive the water to the barren land and bring forth therewith their crop whereof their cattle and they themselves eat? Will they then not see? And they say, When is this decision, if you be truthful? Say thou, on the day of decision, the faith of those who are indifferent to warning will not avail them, nor will they be granted respite. So turn thou away from them, and wait thou. They are waiting. Chapter 33 In the name of God the Almighty, the Merciful. O prophet, be thou in prudent fear of God, and obey thou not those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue and the waverers. God is knowing, wise. And follow thou what thou hast been instructed from thy Lord. God is aware of what you do, and place thou thy trust in God. God is sufficient as guardian. God has not made for man two hearts inside him, and he has not made your wives among whom you assist your mothers, and he has not made your adopted sons your sons. That is a saying of your mouths, and God speaks the truth, and he guides to the way. Call them by their fathers. It is more equitable in the sight of God, and if you know not their fathers, They are your brethren in doctrine and your allies. And you do no wrong in what you err thereby, but not in what your hearts intend. And God is forgiving, merciful. The prophet is closer to the believers than they themselves, and his wives are their mothers, and those possessed of kinship are closer to one another in the law of God than are the believers and the emigres save that you do what is fitting to your allies. This is in the law inscribed. And when we took from the prophets their agreement, and from thee, and from Nuh, and Ibrahim, and Musa, and Isa, son of Maryam, we took from them a stern agreement, that he might ask the truthful about their truthfulness. And he has prepared for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, a painful punishment. O you who heed warning, remember the grace of God towards you. When there came to you forces, then we sent upon them a wind and forces you did not see, and God is beholder of what you do. When they came to you from above you and from beneath you, and when the eyes roamed, and the hearts reached the throats, and you thought thoughts about God. Thereupon were the believers tested, and shaken with severe shaking. And when the waverers and those in whose hearts was disease said, God and his messenger promised us only deception. And when a number of them said, O people of Yathrib, there is no place for you, so go back. And some of them sought permission of the prophet, saying, Our households are exposed. When they were not exposed, they sought only flight. And had entry been made against them from its boundaries, then they had been asked for the means of denial, they would have given it, and would have hesitated therein only briefly. And they had pledged to God before that they would not turn and flee. And the pledge to God is to be answered for. Say thou, Flight will not benefit you if you flee from death or killing, and then will you not be given enjoyment, save a little. Say thou, who is he who can protect you from God if he intends harm for you or intends mercy for you? And they will not find for them besides God ally or helper. God knows those among you who cause hindrance, and those who say to their brethren, Come hither to us, and they come not to the battle save a little, begrudging you, 
Then, when fear comes, thou seest them looking at thee, their eyes rolling like one overshadowed by death. And when the fear departs, they lacerate you with sharp tongues, begrudging good. These have not believed, so God makes vain their deeds, and that is easy for God. They think the parties have not left, and if the parties come, they will wish they were in the desert among the Arabs, asking for reports of you. And were they among you, they would fight only a little. You have, in the messenger of God, a good model for him who expects God and the last day and remembers God much. And when the believers saw the parties, they said, This is what God and his messenger promised us, and God and his messenger were true and it only confirmed them in their faith and submission. Among the believers are men who are true to what they pledge to God. Among them is he who has fulfilled his vows, and among them is he who is waiting, and they have not changed in the least, that God might reward the truthful for their truthfulness, and punish the waverers if he should will, or relent towards them. God is forgiving, merciful. And God repelled those who are indifferent to warning in their wrath. They have not attained to good. And God sufficed the believers in the fight. And God is strong, mighty. And he brought down those who helped them among the doctors of the law from their strongholds and hurled terror into their hearts. Some you killed, and some you took captive. And he caused you to inherit their land, and their houses, and their wealth, and land you had not trodden. And God is powerful over all things. O prophet, say thou to thy wives, If you desire the life of this world, and its adornment, come. I will give you provision and release you with a comely release. But if you desire God and his messenger and the abode of the hereafter, then God has prepared for the doers of good among you a tremendous reward. O wives of the prophet, whoso among you commits manifest sexual immorality, the punishment for her is doubled, and that is easy for God. 